Hey guys, it's me, John. Today I wanted to do something a little different today, as I haven't really done anything like this before. Um, today, I'm going to be doing some selected worldwide races with commentary. And if you've ever been in a call with me on Discord, you would know that my microphone was not very good. You would really have to start and be down to about 20%, 30%. But thankfully now, I bought myself a new headset and it works really well for me. And I'm really wanting to do more commentaries like this in the future. And I hope you guys enjoy this. So without further ado, let's just hop right into this video. All right, so this first race is on Sunshine Airport. It's a pretty early race and not many of the big players who are in this worldwide actually joined. Um, well, not a lot of them at least. So, but this race was actually very interesting though, and that's why I want to upload it here. So, Sunshine Airport, this isn't really a good track in a free-for-all, and as you can see right here, that's exactly why. You can get red out of first so fast. And because of that, I am now in a solid 10th place position. I decided to go for the double box because I'm very far behind at this stage in the race. But it is only lap 1, and I can definitely catch up because... Of course, the new update, you can get catch-up items in bottom spots a lot more often than getting, like, some weird item like a green shell in last. But that doesn't happen anymore, which is very good. So I'm holding my three shrooms, and I'm going to use one shroom here, and I run into a green shell that's bouncing around. Um, I just shroom their way here, just to get away from the pack. It can usually get bumpy around there, especially in free-for-alls, so you usually don't want to be in the pack. At least close to people a lot where you bump them and um i am drafting joel i ran right into him unfortunately and now i'm in fourth place i decided to use a shroom here mainly because i just want to break away from the pack try to just get some distance and then shroom up in the shortcut later so i do this i think i wanted to charge up like an ultra mini turbo but that didn't really work and I'm about to shroom up here, and I see a red, and then I look back, and Sketch also has a red, so I decide to use my other shroom throughout my trail. I throw my red at Joel, a red does come for me, but I do have a protection item, and while I was looking back, I didn't have enough time to react to Pyrus backspamming me, I get backspammed, and then the dude behind me gets triple red shells, and I get hit by that. Shock happens, a couple people dodge, but that actually wasn't too bad for me, as I was able to pick up a ground mushroom, and I was able to take the top half to keep my full speed up for at least a little bit of amount of time. So now I'm in 7th now, and I'm not really going to go hunting for coins. The only reason why I went for those wide 2 coins was because Joel had triple grease that I didn't want to risk getting backspammed by him. So, I also went wide to try to avoid Joel's backspam. Even though it was pretty close to hitting me, it didn't hit me which was fine. And since Joel was able to hit the Japanese guy, I was able to shoot past him and the Japanese guy, keeping myself a solid 4th place. As you can see here, there was only like three other people who were um, like at a competitive level, like Pyrus Sketch, who was Welfare, and Quavo, which is Joel. And um, yeah, that was Sunshine Airport, and we'll get back to the next race. Okay, so this next race is on Big Blue. Um, I'm starting in first on this race as well. And I actually have a pretty strong time on here. It used to be on the top 10. And, but it recently got kicked off. I think I'm like 12th or 13th now. So, I thought I would be fine in first. But, uh, I believe, yeah, Pyrus drafts me here and he also pushes me in the process. So, I'm back in the second. I try to get ahead of him, but I get pushed again. And I get redded very fast. So, I have a red in ninth. I'm just going to hold on to it so I don't get killed. And I really should be keeping solid place right now well at least i think that would be the case because as you can see here i get hit by what seems to be absolutely nothing but i do believe cinda hit me with this green shell it's a very good play on his side um i do a little thing i get some coins here and there i get quite a few coins here which is good and we'll get up to eight and i'm just trying to stay like in the pack trying not to get hit I'm around sketch with triple shroom, so I'm okay to be like around him. And I can get a couple boosts here and there. I do pull the blue shell, but it's in my second one. So I just decided to use my gold here, just so I can get rid of the blue shell and get a better item going up here. 
but I just decided to throw my blue shell because I didn't want um, to keep like people waiting and plus I would have a chance at getting third but as you can see I already have a chance at that as I was able to star Senda and I th I don't think I'm able to red Joel here yeah that would have probably hit Joel if the fire wasn't around as I was able to pull three reds behind him but nothing else really happens here and I'm able to pull off a solid third place and now as you can see there's a lot of like better players in the room now like we have Senda um, we have 7x which is strike from Severance so yeah definitely a better room and uh, now going on to the final race all right so the final race we're going to be looking at here is Twisted Mansion and I'm in a pretty good spot for this I'm in fourth place so I was be hoping to get a draft here now we just wait for the race to start and this is a pretty big rock lobby now we got uh, Van Tox and Umbre in it as well I don't know if Sin is still in here but uh, Pyrus doesn't trail his red so I'm able to get in the second but I want to go wide just to make sure that I don't get like lag trailed or something like that um, Umbre shrooms up, but Pyrus fails to red him, and I draft him the third, but I see Joel has a red, so I go, uh, wide to let him pass, because I don't have anything to protect myself with. I miss the super mini turbo, but that doesn't really matter at this point in the race, because, like, I mean, we all make mistakes, and that was bound to happen. This here was kind of funny, because I did, I thought that grass patch right there was out of bounds, but thankfully it wasn't, I was able to shroom out of it. And now I'm going to go coin collecting. I have 5 coins right now in 8th place. And I think Strike was going around to try to backspam me. But his fire ran out just before he was about to do that. And I think he ran into the wall. So I just want to use my star. Just in case someone who shrooms in the shortcut. Has like triple green shells or something. Could have gotten hit. That was the case. That happens a lot in this game too. Like people will use their mushroom in a shortcut. While they have triple greens in their pocket. And they can really screw people over. Especially if they only have one shroom. And then they have to wait to actually get out. So the Japanese player tried to backspam me, but thankfully he failed, and I'm still keeping fourth place. I decided to use. I tried to like make it so I would only have to use one shroom, but I was able to use. Or I had to use two. And I had to use my last shroom to uh, protect myself, but I still got hit by the blue. Like on the ground. So now I'm in third place. I'm throwing my green shell at Umbre. I backspam my last green shell. Now I have a boomerang. I'm gonna try to boomerang them. Now I have a golden. Or er, never mind. I don't know why I said a golden. I thought it looked like that. I was looking at like the character only. So yeah, I fireballed Umbre, and now I'm in uh, third. I have trouble greens in a boo. So as soon as I see the blue, I instantly want to use my boo just to make sure I don't get hit at the end and have a guaranteed like protection until the end of the race. I get triple mushrooms, and I'm able to get um, second place from that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you really liked what you saw, um, I'm not going to force you to like the video, but I'm sure you liked it. I'm pretty sure it was good, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.